the Pakistan you know, economy suffered. We, you know, we not only suffered casualties, we also suffered you know, economic losses. And then we obviously had a democratic government come again you know, in 2008. 2008 to 2018, I would say, uneventful, you know, kind of economic performance, because even in those uh, years, we did not fix the, the uh, uh, kind of, you know, uh, structural imbalances, structural flaws which we had, and all through this period, which is, the, the, you know, I would say 25 to 30 years, you know, since 2000 and, uh, you know, 19, 72, 73, we just kept building, you know, the, we kept on, uh, uh, you know, a kind of uh, uh, living with the structural imbalances. And what were the structural imbalances? Structural imbalances were that our tax to GDP it was pathetic, you know, was, you know, uh, always hovered around 10 percent, you know, which is not enough. Uh, to meet, you know, the uh, not only the current expenditure but also the development expenditure, we of course had a mismatch between our exports and our imports that would always put pressure on us. Uh, but the uh, another structural imbalance which continues even today is the saving rate. Unless you have a saving rate which can support six to eight percent growth rate which means that, you know, your saving rate should be you know, north of 25 percent. We always had a saving rate, you know, which hovered around, you know, between 13 percent to maybe 18 percent. So not good enough to, you know, to sustain a, glow, a growth rate of 6 percent plus. Then we also, the productivity in our industrial sector, once, you know, the investments stopped, you know, because after nationalization, who the hell would just invest in Pakistan? because they were not even treated very well when, once the nationalization took place. So productivity went down. Agriculture, we just ignored. We thought this is a given that we will produce wheat, we will produce, you know, uh, uh, other food uh, items. So, so it was given. So we never focused on improving the productivity of the agriculture sector. So guess what? We are food short, short as of now. We are a food deficit country as of now. So, no structural changes, etc. And in comes, you know, uh, 